Hey there, welcome back. Nick here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive of a 1973 Mercury Cougar. This one here does have power steering, power brakes at 351 under the hood. Smooth running motor. Of course, what I like to do is take them down the road, pointing out flaws so you know what you're getting. Check out maplemotors.com. We have financing, shipping, 100 detailed pictures, and every Monday, your best chance to get a car from us. At 11, we update the website. So every Monday at 11, go there, check it out. We don't have a list. We don't have where we call people back. Uh, it's basically just, we're gonna update on Monday with new cars. You give us a call, we'll tell you about it. We'll have the test drive videos out. You can also join us on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. We're behind the scenes, kind of see some stuff coming in, see what's going on up here at the lot throughout the days. With that being said, don't forget, hit subscribe, share, hit like. That helps me out quite a bit. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course, before we leave the lot, we like to place bets on the horn. You think the horn works in this one? Be checking it out before we leave. I can show you the miles. It's hard to stand behind mileage in a car like this. We do have detailed pictures of that as well. Let's go ahead and start her up. This one seems to start up pretty nice. It's easy to start in the morning. It's about 40 degrees out here and I had no issues cranking her over. Interior is actually in pretty good shape. Uh, the seats probably the most wear of the whole car or it's got them cracks and stuff in it. And by the end of the video, what we're going to be doing is going over all the flaws on the interior and the paint. This right here is a huge book of receipts. So there's all kinds of documents over the years, all dated uh, from all the stuff that's been done to this car, which is pretty good. So if you ever keep that, make sure to keep that in a folder. It helps out a lot when you get to sell a car. It gives you a bit of history. Looking at the headliner in this one, or the convertible top, it actually looks really good from the inside. There we go. Camera changed lighting there. It helped us out quite a bit. Oh, old school mirror there. A little dirty. Let's go ahead and start trying some stuff on the dash. So I'm going to look around here. We've got the windshield wipers. Wow, well, that flew on up. A little radio. Looks like a new style radio it replicates the old style but it's digital and it's working so that's good i seen an air compressor it's our ac let's see if it works we'll put it on max ac cold and i heard the compressor kick on uh you can hear it by listening to the idle right now it's cold but like i said it's 40 degrees out here and that actually feels like it just got a bit colder so i do believe it works okay we got that off you see the idle came back up right under a thousand gas gauge huh. we're stopping to get some fuel i don't want to run out before we even get there so we better hurry up and leave let's uh where is the turn signals popping up in here i hear them coming from the glove box but they're not popping up on the dash anywhere oh there we go the left one is not blinking over here on this left side that's where it would pop up and the right one is blinking, so we got a bulb out on the left blinker there. With that being said, let's try that horn. Did you place your bets? If I find another horn button anywhere in this car along the video, I will let you know. But right now, as of this steering wheel, it is not working. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. Okay, so we're getting ready to take off here. Um, we still got seat belts in here. They're in good condition. Back behind the seat, comes out pretty easy. Got her on. Door panel here is not really uh, attached on the top. I'm almost wondering if it didn't get put back on right at some point. But I think you just snap it in over on the inside of the window there. So, and get the mat pulled out from under there. Reverse. Neutral here. And drive. Anything I see along the way, you're gonna know about it. Looks like our temp gauge is coming up here. Amps and the oil pressure. Oil pressure doesn't look like it's hooked up. I don't believe it is. I wanna double check real quick before we leave. Yeah, our 
oil pressure gauge is just sitting on zero like it's disconnected. And it very well could have went bad. It's faulty. With the gas gauge, it's dead on E2, so hopefully it works. When we get there, I'll put about $20 worth of fuel, and we'll watch the gauge and see how it reacts if it works. You'll know about it. Just waiting on a bit of traffic to get by here, and we'll pull out. Because, of course, I don't want nobody behind me. I'm going to slam on the brakes halfway up the road after I figure out how straight this one goes down. This is the first time I've driven this car. So. Looks like a speedometer's coming up. It's actually going straight as an arrow. I'm not having any pulling left or right. The, uh, the steering feels good on this one. Kick down, hooked up. Brakes, real good. They feel good. Seems to be shifting pretty smooth. And the speedometer is pretty accurate. running and driving straight down the road acceleration brakes it all feels great got a little bit of a bumpier road on this on this back way here so i could kind of test the suspension there's a, a big curb over here we're going to hit kind of feel how that reacts over that and i'll let you know here smooth a little bit of squeaking it's the brakes on this one too so we're gonna pull up in here we're gonna get some fuel and then I'll be back with you here in just a moment we'll check that gas gauge out and get her back on the road let's do it I got about $20 in this ride worth of gas you put it in back here behind the tag You walk up, pull her down from the top. Brand new gas cap. Okay. I think, personally, the gas cage is probably going to come up. Let's see here. Yeah, you see how the door panel needs to be readjusted here. Looks like it needs to go down in that track. Gas gauge. Want to just turn the car on? Come on up. Oh yeah, I knew it was gonna work. Good deal. It keeps rising too, so. We got a true gas gauge. Let's hit the road and uh, the next couple shots gonna be an undercarriage shot. I'm gonna light everything up. I'm gonna drop past the camera. Look below in the description. That way you can uh, join me and my wife's real estate channel. Also, all the gear that I use for this video is located below with Amazon links. I'll be back in just a moment. All right, so now what we're gonna do is put the top down. A little bit cold today, but that's all right. So this top is in the corner here. There we go. I haven't put one of these down in a 
little while. It's been a while since we've had a Cougar here. Okay, now the top switch is right here. And when you push down, it actually hops up off there and takes off. Goes down pretty good, nice and snug. Let's try these windows. So this one is already down here. This one here. That one's a little tight. I'm gonna help it. A lot of times on these back windows, you do have to have two hands to get her down. So that one's a little stiff. I'm gonna have to have two hands. This one over here. Let's see what we got. Nice and smooth, easy to go down on that one. This back one here, nice and smooth, easy to go down. And like I said, I'll have to have two hands to get that one down, but I'll drop it and we'll get some shots here. Okay, time to head back to the lot. Let's go ahead and take off here. So far, so good. This car has been sitting here idling for, I don't know, a while. And engine temperature is right where it needs to be. Motor sounds nice and smooth. Other than cosmetics, uh, this car's ready to go. It runs and drives great. See if we can get some heat going. It is cold. These 
the switches are nice and smooth. I think somebody's already upgraded those and replaced them. Heat is blowing from the floor. Good deal. Make sure I don't lose none of that paperwork. I love videoing on days like this where it's nice and cloudy. Really gives y'all a good view when I'm having to fight the sun all the time. That kind of hurts the video a little bit. So usually on cloudy days like this, I take advantage of it. Easily kicks the tires over. It was just a one well pill on the right side. So I'm right around the corner from the lot. And of course, once we get back there, we're gonna go to the picking out the flaws segment of the video. Looking for chips, scratches, rust, anything that I can find. So be sure to stick around for that. Just waiting on the red light here and we can take off again. Probably stop down by Brian's. I haven't seen him in a while. If we go to Brian's Motorsports, he usually has a lot of customized rides. Old school to new school stuff. He actually sells a lot to NFL football players. Seems like every time I go down there, there's one or two sitting around. So that's what we'll do. We'll stop by there and see if he's got anything cool outside. And then we'll head back to the lot and do the picking out the flaws segment. Yeah, we got it all bundled up there. See, he's literally next to the car lot. What he does is he fully customizes vehicles. Again, that's brianmotorsports.com. A lot of people are buying the cars from us and they'll send them down here and uh, get it like, you know, tent, interiors done, where the seats are messed up. They'll have all that redone. They do stereo system, wheels, tires, parts, uh, even suspension stuff. But you can see he's working on modern cars. He's also working on the old schools. Which I don't see old school in his parking lot right now. Usually he has one every day. Oh, there you go. See, told you we'd find one. He probably put the lift wheels and tires on that old classic. Got an old Ford sitting back here. It looks like a crew cab. Got the new Jeep, got a rat rod, got a Corvette he's working on. And this big old shop right here is what he does it out of. A whole lot of diesel trucks too. So check him out, keep him in mind. We're gonna head back to the lot now and uh, do the picking out the flaws. Okay, so we're getting ready to walk around this ride, point out chips, scratches, flaws, anything I can find. Be sure to look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Have about a hundred of them on every ride here. Make sure I cut my headlights off before we kill the battery. So we're gonna get started. Run up here to the front. And we're gonna go around the lower sections first. This one here, the chrome bumper on the front is actually in pretty good shape. It does have a little bit of pitting here and there. It looks like it's mostly on these pieces here. 
it'll be the worst of it. Uh, looking around right behind your bumper, you do got some cracks in the paint. It's an older paint job. You can see where it's chipped. You got a few little specks on some of the chrome there and your headlight trim. Same thing on this side. A few little blemishes here and there just from it being older. Okay, coming down this side, lower portion. Got a chip right there. Tires are in great shape. American Racing wheels, disc brakes in the front. Coming up over the fender. Looks like we got a chip in the paint. Down this lower portion here. A few little specks popping up right there on the edge of the door. Six of small chips. Like scratch right here. Wish you can see all those little specks. Those are running. Chip there. Trim right there's got some blemishes. The back trim piece right here needs to be pinned up. A little bubble popping up there in the back. Scratch here. Up and over the fender. Old little dimples from the old paint. Picked up some dirt there. You got some bubbles popping up in that back end. Coming back midsection. So this car here, it's not the greatest paint job. You can see it's got a lot of scratches, a lot of chips. It's been on here a while. This is an older paint job. So we're gonna start by just cruising along. You can see it's got a lot of little acne bubbles popping up, just little stuff. But I'm gonna start looking for mainly rust, big scratches like that, and dents. Little spot there. Get some pitting on your chrome too. It's like a ding right here. Real small, about the size of my fingertip. Back over the top here, you can see some oxidation. A little rust on the inner part of the fender. A little bit more up here in the front, sitting on top. Front window is in great shape. Trim around the window looks good too. Door panel on this side sitting like it should be. Weather stripping around the top. It's actually in decent shape. Still saw all the way around. The top's in decent shape on this one. Coming up to the back end. Back bumper showing signs of age. Got some pitting. See on the back here, it's got a dent underneath the bumper. A dent over here underneath the bumper as well. Looking around the trunk area, huge trunk. The seal looks pretty good. We've got a lot of silicone back here too. Got a top cover sitting right here. I wanna to try to be careful with this because this is older. Oh, look. I was trying to be careful. It needs to be replaced, this mat. You can't really pick it up without it just crumbling. Oh, it's got that protection shield here that's glued down. Can't really. Oh, man, maybe. Oh, yeah. She looks pretty solid. She's got some surface rust on the edges, but. That mat's doing its job, ain't it? Okay. 
Had a little moisture up under there, so we're gonna have to get that vacuumed out when we get back. CB antenna, I wonder if it's got one in here. I didn't see any. I've been moving here lately and I found like 10 of those in my garage. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this back. Look at the lid. A few little spots popping up right there on the edge. Wait for it to adjust. There we go. Let's see. There we go. Good deal. Coming down with the trunk lid. Outer edge looks pretty good. Keys are in the ignition and she shuts easy. I tell you what, the paint looks awesome back here on the trunk. It's in really good shape. It actually feels soft. It's got a dent right here though. A little small ding. Up here you got some chips. Got chips on the edge here too. So let's go down the lower portion on this side, back mid section, and we'll end on the top. Going up, you got some rust in the corner here. We got a bunch of tires stick out on this. Pretty good look. Beefy, up and around the fender. Spot there. Some chips. Bubbles popping up the bottom there. Some more chips. Got some in this area as well. Some little bubbles popping up at the bottom. Trim there. It's got some pitting on it too. Back this mid section. Chips. On top of the fender too, in this area. A bit of pitting on your door handle. Chip there. I showed that here a second ago coming back over the top this one window was very stiff it needs to be greased up uh, once I got it loosened up and started cranking it it started getting smoother and smoother and smoother and now that it's down at the bottom it's a lot easier to go up and down but it still needs to be greased because all the other windows were nice and silky Trim looks good on the top. A lot of times it'll start rusting up here. You can see where it's trying to. That can be cleaned off. Surface rust is a, a thing that can be fixed. And uh, preventative, I've seen people use like chrome cleaners and I've seen wax honestly has worked out in the past pretty good for us. A little chip there. Okay, we've made it around the ride. Let's go ahead and check out that inside. <laughs> it does have some older interior. Um, of course, when you come up on the back seat, it's in pretty good shape. It is older. You can see your panels have got their scratches and battle scars. Go back this way. So we open up the door panel here. Like I was saying before, usually on these door panels, you come down from the top first and then put everything together. I don't know exactly how that got off unless that wasn't done in that right order. 
as you come up on the door panel itself it does have a cracked armrest it's got a crack up here and it looks like they shot a few screws down in the bottom it's also one up there in the front weather stripping on this one's a bit older some kind of hanging down there And your jams are gonna go up. Look inside there. Down on the bottom. Got some older carpet. make out if that's a slight lifter or a small exhaust leak it's very inconsistent so makes me believe it's going to be an exhaust leak this right here needs to be lined back up a little bit better onto that pipe the mess with that when we get back take everything off when i have two hands <laughs> insulation still up under the hood you want to check the edges of your hood whenever you're going out and looking at the car because a lot of times it'll start rust that's where the water ends up when it rolls off so if there's anything to get caught on it will Okay, as we come down with the hood, let's see. Fairly easy, once we got over the hump. So the emblem's got some age on it. You got cracks all in your paint up here. Just on the edge, it seems like the rest of the hood actually doesn't look too bad. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on here, there it is. Straighten her up. Guys, I do appreciate you watching the channel. Be sure to hit subscribe, share, hit like. I'll keep making these videos for you. And also, don't forget to go join me and my wife's real estate channel. It'll be below in the description. We're going to start doing that together. We got our first house on there. Um, as her personally selling one. She sells a lot of houses to clients around town that are looking for them. But we're going to make videos together and get all that done. And here, of course, Maple Motors will make videos of every one of these cars just like this every day picking out the flaws showing everything that's wrong and if you want to get first in line see the cars you know first a lot of people get mad they're like oh they're all sold well that's a good thing for us and i'm sorry that they you know you can't get the car faster that's the best option i could give you is to check on monday at 11. i mean really we don't have a list where you write down names or anything we just put on about 10 cars every week at 11 on mondays and sorry about last week it was a snow week and it just hurt us getting the cars ready getting pictures getting these videos done um i mean i can't drive this in the snow so <laughs> hopefully you understand we're still going to be around we've been here 40 years and we plan on keeping doing the same thing that we've always done 
So be sure to hit subscribe, share, hit like, and I'll keep these videos coming your way. Thanks again, guys. See you in the next one.